thousands of runners will take to the streets this Sunday for the London Marathon. They will include our very own BBC London 94.9's Eddie Nestor. The Drive Time presenter was scheduled to run the race in 2007 but was diagnosed with cancer and had to pull out. Five years later, he's about to try again. Good evening and welcome BBC London 94.9's Drive Time show with me, Eddie Nestor, taking your calls. Your I was going to run the marathon in 2007 and then I got ill. It was diagnosed on the 26th of February as Hodgkin's lymphoma. So I had to pull out, but five years on, I thought to myself, Olympics coming, maybe you should have a real go at this. So I decided to, and here I am, and I'm terrified. <laughs> Come to meet my trainer, Dave McQueen, to see what kind of pleasures or pain he has in store for me today. Morning, Abby. Morning, Dave. How are you this morning? Not good. When we run the marathon on the 22nd of April, it will be in the same week that I actually started my chemo. I am running the marathon for the ACLT. Uh, it's the African Caribbean Leukemia Trust, and it's about trying to get people on the blood donors register. Part of my hope is that I can raise the profile uh, and we can give everybody a chance of survival if something terrible happens. Uh, okay, I'm going to be quicker now. I mean, maybe this is a bit vain, I don't know. Nobody can see the weight I've lost because they just look at the beard. I thought I'd grow it so people could sponsor me to do um, things with it, permit, twist it, locks it, I d whatever. But people just look at me and go, eh. <laughs> Three, good. I don't like those. Yeah. They hurt. The improvement has been 100%. The first week he came, he could only do a run for five minutes on a treadmill. Emmanuel Mutai raises his arms and smashes the course record. I don't think I'm going to win it this year, uh, but hopefully I'm going to finish. That's what I want. Good luck to him and everybody else running. Now.